morning guys today is monday it's the start of a new weekly vlog i've literally just got home from harvey's at the weekend and i'm gonna grab some food and then i'm gonna go ahead and go and get my nails done because it's got to the point now where i keep catching them and my hair is getting caught like in a few of the nails and i mean i've had these on like five probably nearly six weeks so they've lasted me a long time but it's about time that i get them redone so i think i'm just gonna get an infill and then i think i'm just gonna get plain french because you can never go wrong with french and i have a few events coming up so i don't want to get anything too colorful just in case i don't know what i'm wearing and in case it doesn't go with the outfit so white french you can never go wrong with so guys i am back from town i've had my nails done they look so much better i worked out i had my nails on nearly six weeks that is crazy like six weeks and every single nail was still on don't get me wrong some of them were a little bit chipped but six weeks that is pretty good going so yeah hopefully these last me another six weeks because that would be ideal on my way back up i actually went downstairs and collected some parcels so i'm quickly going to open some of them with you guys because i've ordered some clothes recently as tomorrow i'm going to london and then on wednesday i have a party hard travel event we had a meeting for it last week which you will have seen in last week's weekly vlog and yeah we have an event with them on wednesday night which is just like the launching of their creator program thing so i'm very excited about that so i needed an outfit to wear to that and then i also have my friend's birthday like night out next week so i also needed an outfit for that so i've ordered some stuff for both of them and then i also have some tiktok shop parcels as well because i swear that's where i spend all my money these days and i also have some pr parcels as well so i'm gonna go ahead and open the ones that i've like ordered and stuff and quickly show you guys just in case you're interested obviously i haven't tried anything on yet so i don't know what it's going to be like i think i might do like one of them tiktoks where it's like keep return that kind of vibe um but yeah let's go ahead and open some parcels okay so we'll start with tiktok shop i ordered a few things from p louise on there because she had like a sale on with her blushes where you could get three at 60 percent off so i think they were like six pounds each um whereas if you just bought one on its own that is about 18 pounds so i think you get like three for the price of one something stupid like that i have them linked on my tiktok shop if you do want to get them and then i also ordered the primer as well so i don't know which is in which i feel like this one's going to be the primer actually because it's not very like big brilliant can't even get into it so i actually got the block o'clock primer to try as when Cal did my makeup he actually used this and the way that my base looked when he did my makeup was absolutely phenomenal so i asked him what all the products were that he used and this was one of them so i decided to get that to try and then let's go ahead and open this one and then in here we have all three of the blushes that i picked up i decided to get three because obviously it was a good deal and there was quite a few of the colors that i kind of fancied so the first one is bon bon baby which just looks like this it's a bit hard to show you because i've got a light on because obviously it's so dark now um, but like four o'clock but this is what the color of it looks like the next one i got is legally pink so it's this bottom color here is the color of the actual blush because this is the packaging finally the third one is peach of my heart which is the one that cal actually used on me when he did my makeup so this was the one that i definitely wanted and then the other two were just ones that i thought i would really like so i'm excited to give these a go maybe check out my tiktok because if they're not up there already then they'll probably be coming soon because i'm definitely going to film some videos using these products i'm loving doing a little bit of tiktok at the minute and um, especially like the beauty side of things so if you miss like my beauty tutorials and things like that tiktok is where you want to be at because that's like that's sort of where i'm doing it like get ready with me's and things like that but then i ordered some stuff from pretty little thing because like i mentioned i've got a few events coming up so i ordered this skirt from plt as one of my options to go with something that i ordered from somewhere else and um, it's just this cargo skirt it's gray and i just really like i ordered this specifically to go with something else that i've ordered i literally just ordered this but i got it in two sizes because obviously with me going to london tomorrow and this only coming today i won't have had time to like reorder 
in a different size if it didn't fit. So I picked it up in an 8 and I also picked it up in a 10 just in case it either ran large or ran small. Um, so I've got two of them, but obviously I'm only going to keep one. Then I ordered this skirt and also this waistcoat as this is like a little co-ord again i ordered both of these in a size 8 and a size 10 but i saw someone wearing this and it looked super cute whether i'll be able to pull it off i don't know but yeah i absolutely loved how this looked on the girl that i'd seen wearing it i mean you guys will actually see what i end up wearing this week anyway because obviously it's part of the weekly vlog and then the final place that i ordered from is ego okay so the first thing i got is a pair of boots i've wanted some boots like this for a while and the only thing that puts me off boots is usually the heel because the heel always seems to be really high and it's I just have dodgy feet and I can't walk in heels very well um, but these didn't look too high so these are the boots um, they might not be everyone's cup of tea but with the outfit that I've imagined and it's this with a silver bag and like my outfit I think will look really nice so it's just like this and as you can see the heels not like really high but they are still quite high so we'll see how these actually fit on my feet and also around my ankles because I've got such skinny ankles that I find that a lot of like boots just look stupid on me because they just do not fit my legs very well then I ordered this top to go with the cargo skirt and I was thinking I could wear this the cargo skirt and it's the silver boots with the silver bag but obviously I don't know what it's actually gonna look like on but when the model was wearing this on the website she was wearing it with a cargo skirt so I thought oh two doggies on it and it says vicious and I'm not vicious but you know I just thought this would maybe be fun then I went ahead and got this white long sleeved play suit I think I also ordered this in the black as well because I wasn't sure if the white would make me too washed out because I've really lost my tan since going back from Australia it's it's been too long. My time was gone as soon as I came back, let's be real. But yeah, I saw this and I thought this would be really cute with some like knee-high boots and a jacket and obviously a bag because I'm just trying to think warmth. Like it is still winter and it is cold. So I kind of want outfits that are going to keep me more warm. Um, she says that as she ordered two skirts with a little waistcoat that's definitely not warm is it yeah this was my intention for ordering this was being warm yeah so this is it in the black as well it's basically the exact same um so it's not probably getting it out and showing you but then the final thing that i got is this silver so this is the bag that i'm talking about i'm sure everyone's seen these these are like a knockoff version of diesel bags and I just absolutely love this. And I thought with the boots, yeah, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like more like this, like length, like half the size. Um, so it is actually quite a decent size. But yeah, I just think with the two together, with like a plain outfit, kind of jazzes it up a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and tidy up my room because obviously with me getting back, I've got loads of stuff that I've just dumped in my room. I've got some clothes to put away. I've got my coat to put away i've obviously got all these new products that i need to put into somewhat of an order and sort of decide what content i'm going to film with them and when and i also need to pack for london tomorrow so good morning everyone today is now tuesday i've popped a little bit of makeup on this morning as my skin is looking absolutely horrendous so i really just wanted to cover my face and I don't know how I feel about it. I'm really not one of them light makeup kind of girls. I feel like it's all or nothing. I feel like I just look weird right now. Um, don't know if that's because of the products I use as well, because I use a few different products. But I'm just... I just feel like I look weird. But we're going to be leaving shortly to head to London. So I've just finished up packing all of my stuff. And I need to close my suitcase, get my shoes on, put my coat on and sort of get ready to go. I always feel like I'm forgetting something when I go away on a trip. And I'm just hoping that I haven't actually forgotten anything. Because obviously London is a fair bit away. So it's not like I can just bob back and get it. So guys, we've made it to London. <laughs> So if you look a little bit happier, please. <laughs> and it's, it's London. <laughs> Go on again. It's London. Beautiful. Someone, someone, there, uh, get them on. Just singing BGT. Wait, hold on. I don't know which one I need Insert to go. Insert clip of us singing for BGT. <laughs> 
that was awful. Currently just on our way to our management's office to have a little meeting with them and have a catch up with them because we've not seen them or their new office. Um, I feel like it's honestly been years since we've seen our manager I just like, don't think in it's the flesh. Thing, is it? Like with our job, you don't yeah. you don't go into work and see your manager like no. it's. All well, just through messages. And as well, I think it might be here. We work. Yeah, and as well, because obviously we don't live in London, it's not as easy for us to just jump on a tube just everything's just and come. WhatsApp or a call if it's serious. Yeah. If so it's serious business. We're finally here, so we're going to go in and have a little chat with them. I don't know how we actually get in there. But we did have a little catch up with Party Hard team Ooh. as well, because we dropped our bags off there, as we are staying with Jodie tonight. Um, like so we dropped. Hanging out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so we did your hard bags off so we don't have to carry them around but yeah we're gonna have this little meeting and then we're gonna get some food so guys it is a little while later we've finished all of our meetings for the day and we've now come to nando's you can't even see the actual sign but yeah we've come to nando's and we're gonna have some food and then after that we're gonna have a little look around the shops i want to have a look in zara because apparently the Zara sales good here, that's what Beth said. And a few of the other shops as well. I just want to have a little nerd again. Just whilst we're here, might as well make most of it. And then after that, we're going to go back to Jodie's. And then Jodie Park should be coming um, really shortly after that. I'm not sure what time it is now. It's half past six now, and I think Jodie gets in at about nine. So by the time she gets to us, it'll be about half nine. So it's about three hours until she gets here. But Obviously, we're going to have food, so that'll probably take about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and then we're going to go shopping. So, should be quite on schedule. You might end up missing a bit of Love Island, but who knows? We'll keep you up to date. I'm very excited for tomorrow, because tomorrow is going to be a very busy day, and maybe a lot of familiar faces as well, because, you know, they've invited like a lot of people to come down. So, good morning, guys. So, it is now the next day, it is Wednesday today. We've just checked in to our hotel. Oh, look who we've got with us. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so we've just checked into our hotel. We've ordered some food, so me and Sophie got Joe and the juice and obviously a juice as well. We're gonna get ready shortly and then head over to the office and do like some little meetings, some filming and stuff like that. And then we'll be coming back and getting ready for the night. So yeah, it's a very exciting day. I'm excited to bring you guys along with me. And for now, I'm gonna eat my food because I'm absolutely starving. This sandwich from Joe and the Juice just slaps. Mm -mm -mm. So we're now in the office, joined by these guys. We've got a little party hard sign. Oh, we're waiting for everyone else. But yeah, I've got the old jumper on, but there's actually new jumpers. Oh, you're such an OG. So I'm excited to get a new one because this one's bright blue. But. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he's going to be holding up all summer. Yeah. But yeah, we're just waiting for everyone. And then the excitement oh, begins. Yeah. I have no idea what's in store, yeah. but I imagine it's going to be pretty crazy. I'm glad you haven't been here five minutes. So he's already pouring away the Prosecco. Prosecco? <laughs> <laughs> She's practicing for tonight. Flamingo! Flamingo! <laughs> So we're upstairs in the little podcast room. You say hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Are you going to be asking the questions then? I will be. Yeah. Yes, I will be. Are you prepared? I am prepared. Good. Are you? Uh, yeah, I think so. No, we, are, we haven't <laughs> had the questions. I'm scared. I know, but I don't think there's going to be many, is there? No. So, guys, we're currently playing Beer Pong. This might end disastrous because, I mean, I've already drunk a lot. I've had two shots of Jaeger. And I've had a cocktail and I've had two glasses of Prosecco. Oh, I left my Prosecco oh, upstairs. Oh, I left it. Happening in me. Zanti opening in June. Them are the two reveals. Ooh. At each club we have reveal, challenge or tell me. And it's all to do with the tricks. So we've just found out that in June there's going to be a MAGA opening trip. <laughs> Guys, I just got it in and now we've got to tell me. Most embarrassing when I used to work in Andos and there was two girls around my age, yeah, and then I, I threw my, the drinks from on a on plate because it was Covid. And as I come in, I put one down and I grab the other one and hit the other one with that one. And then oh, no. I the two drinks all over the two girls. Oh. And they were like... Oh. What is it? Vodka. Oh. 
is forming a job. What does it tell the bottom? Challenge. Oh, challenge. 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 Get your backs out. The worm. <laughs> Go on, do it, do it. <laughs> Go on, man, Rika. Go on. Go on. Oh, oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> morning guys today is now friday i didn't film yesterday because i was severely hungover i don't know if i spoke about it but i did try a tiktok hack to try and not be hungover but it did not work and i was extremely hungover and as you can tell by my voice i've still sort of lost it you know wednesday night was a really good night i had so much fun and I'm now back home, I've washed my hair, done all that jazz. I still need to unpack because I didn't do it yesterday, but I'm just sitting down at the moment and doing some work. I'm actually just about to send Seb some content from us when we were in Australia so he can use that on his social media. And then I've just been replying to emails and all stuff like that. And then after, I'm gonna tidy up my room. How's this coming over in about 40 minutes? As she left early yesterday and ended up leaving like half of her stuff in the hotel room. So I ended up bringing it back for her. So she's gonna pop round and grab that and then yeah like I say I'm just gonna be very much like a chill day getting on with works some ramen noodles these are the cheese flavor ones and they're delicious so i'm gonna eat these they look really dry because it kind of been sat there whilst i've been tidying up the kitchen after making them um but yeah if you've never tried these korean noodles you need to try them the carbonara ones are really good and these are the cheese ones actually going home for the weekend as I just feel like a lot is getting to me at the minute and I feel like I just need a little trip home. I'm supposed to be going home on Wednesday anyway and then coming back to Manchester on the Wednesday night so I just figured I would come home a little bit earlier, bring a load of stuff home with me to help with the moving process and just have some time in my own space with my family, maybe see some friends and just feel better in myself. I feel like a lot has just been piling up recently and I've just felt really 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 not myself really stressed and just yeah things are just getting a bit much at the minute so this is me literally running away from my problems like I've packed up my shit and I'm ready to go so I'm gonna drive home now I haven't actually told my mum or anyone that I'm coming home so I suppose this will be a nice little surprise for them to see 
me come home. Um, I mean, obviously they would know that I'd be coming home next week anyway, but for me to come home a little bit early, and I'm pretty sure Lola is at my mum's this weekend. I always find that whenever we come home on the weekend, it's always the weekend that she's at Ben's, so we don't really get to see her that often, but hopefully this time we will get to see her because I think she is at my mum's. Thank you.